before you go into hypnosis. Just sit back, relax and make yourself comfortable. Nobody wants anything, nobody needs anything. So just sit back and relax. By beginning to let your whole body go loose, limp and floppy. And as that happens, allow your eyelids to close. Noticing that more of your awareness is on the sound of my voice and each word you hear. Now, there is no need to listen consciously as your unconscious will listen for you. As you relax more and more. All sounds inside and out, bringing you deeper and deeper. Your conscious mind can listen in or drift to any thought. And as that happens, notice each thought leads to another thought as you breathe. Each breath out bringing you deeper and deeper and even deeper. And as you continue to do that, just notice how you can relax the smallest muscles, those muscles in your eyelids. Tiny muscles in your eyelids relaxing. Relaxing so much so that if you were to try and open those eyes, you would find it difficult. But somehow that doesn't really matter. As you go deeper and deeper into this special relaxed state known as hypnosis. That's it. And as that continues, you begin to move that special quality of relaxation to the muscles of your forehead, smoothing out the muscles as you move that relaxation up over the top of your head and before moving on down into the muscles of the neck relaxing each muscle on the top of the head where the roots of each hair stand more and more aware of those familiar feelings of relaxation as the muscles that support your heavy head relax neck muscles relaxing as you go deeper and deeper And the deeper you go, the better you feel. And the better you feel, the deeper you go. That's it. Deeper and deeper. Becoming aware of sensations in your body. There may be a warmth or perhaps a coolness or even a tingling sensation just as a physical sign that hypnosis has began to happen but I don't want you to go all the way down into a deep hypnotic trance until that relaxation 
has spread from the top of your head all the way down to your toes. That's it. And as that happens, notice how the comfort spreads into those shoulders. Will that relaxation into the right shoulder or the left shoulder first? Or maybe they will relax equally. I don't know. Very good. That relaxation spreading down through those arms. Down through those arms to those hands. And all the way to those fingertips. Just notice the difference in those fingertips. As those special sensations spread. Moving down the spine, chest and belly, through the hips, down, down, deeper and deeper, and even deeper still, those arms feel heavy, relaxed and heavy. As you breathe out, going even deeper, relaxation spreading into your thighs there, spreading into those thighs, that's it, and on down the calves and into those ankles and feet, all the way down from the top of your head to the tips of your toes and as that continues to happen perhaps the big toe on the right foot feels a little different to the left or maybe the little toe on the left foot there is different to the little toe here Perhaps all toes are relaxed equally as you enjoy this special relaxation that is your experience of hypnosis where you make the changes that are right for you accepting suggestions that are right for you and there's no need to resist as you can reject any suggestion only accepting those changes that are right and proper for you now as you go deeper into a pleasant relaxation you realize that you have a right to enjoy a perfect body, perfect size and perfect shape and this is your own body and you have tremendous respect for it. You have now chosen an ideal weight and size for your body and you constantly visualize this ideal look as the real you. You now inform your inner mind of your overwhelming desire to reach and maintain this ideal size and weight. And now as you relax even more and more and as you let go more and more, picture or imagine that you are standing alone in a large pleasant room and this room is your own secret place a restful 
peaceful place where you come every day to relax and enjoy being and feeling slim and attractive to enjoy being the real you with your ideal figure now imagine how your room is furnished perhaps choosing the color of the walls or maybe the color of the rich soft carpet underfoot and also noticing that one wall is completely covered with a beautiful spotless mirror it is reflecting the beauty of your room and it also reflects you and you are never so happy you are always your ideal size and weight when you are in this room and you come here often to relax and feel happy you thoroughly enjoy posing and admiring yourself in this large lovely mirror and you admire your attractive body just look at yourself from a side view now and enjoy knowing that this beautiful attractive person is you and you are so thrilled and happy with the image you see you now sit down in a very comfortable chair and look at your beautiful figure while seated and you are growing very fond of this restful chair as you sink back into its soft surface and go deeper and deeper into relaxation you just feel terrific mentally physically and emotionally it's a wonderful feeling to be healthy slender and attractive and it's so easy you wonder why you haven't done it before and you look so good and you feel so good and you are good you do good things for yourself because you deserve the best life has to offer the process is going on right now and you are enjoying a new positive personality looking at yourself admiring yourself and knowing that the reason you look so good and feel so good is the result of your new respect and love for your body it is also the result of your new eating habits as you eat only when you are sitting down when meal time comes you sit down and you enjoy eating more than you've ever enjoyed it before because you enjoy the taste of food more because of your new tasting habit your food tastes so much better because you give your taste buds a chance to savor and enjoy every bite and as you take a bite of food into your mouth you then lay down your knife or fork or if it is food you hold in your hand you lay it down and you only think of the bite that's in your mouth you concentrate your entire attention upon that one bite you feel the texture of the food you find that it tastes better in certain parts of your mouth than in others and you feel it in your mouth 
you find that the taste is more important than the food and you concentrate your entire attention upon the bite that you are chewing and you enjoy every bit of taste it has to offer. Finally, you swallow it. Only then do you even consider another bite. Only when you swallow the delicious bite you are chewing do you take another bite into your mouth. And it tastes wonderful also. And it tastes so good because you concentrate your at entire attention upon this new bite you are chewing. And you have learned that single bites taste much better. Only when you have enjoyed the second bite to its fullest and swallowed it, do you take another bite. And as you repeat this process, bite after delicious bite, enjoying each one to its fullest, your taste buds thank you for allowing them to taste and savor each bite the way nature intended them to. And your stomach thanks you because it remembers that terrible stuffy feeling that it had after those huge Christmas dinners. And your body thanks you for allowing it to become beautiful, healthy and vigorous. And you are happy. Each time you think of food when your body is in need of nourishment, you sit down and you eat slowly and enjoy every bite using your thrilling new eating habit. Each time you think of eating when your body does not need food, you have a, a enjoyable new way of dealing with this. And this is so easy because you just take a long deep breath, hold it in, and as you exhale you think the word calm and relax. And those are your key words. And as you exhale and think these key words, calm and relax. You allow yourself to relax all over. Every muscle, every ligament, and every nerve in your body. Just let them all go loose and limp. And as you repeat this process and let your mind go to your secret room. If only for a few seconds, when it's safe to do so. and decide whether you need food now or whether you wish to enjoy it more by waiting until you know it will taste much better. Of course, you do know that you enjoy food a great deal more later because the more you save up your hunger, the better the food tastes and the more you enjoy it now going deeper and deeper into relaxation. Just visualize yourself or imagine yourself making the decision you know will give you the most health, happiness and progress toward your goal of being your ideal size and weight. That image. And you always leave food on your plate. Because when you leave food on your plate, as you always do, you know that you have a choice. You don't need this food. So it's wasted, no matter where you put it. In your tummy, in the bin. It is still waste. It will harm your body, but it will not harm the bin. And you are not a bin. 
you respect your body and you eat only what your body needs. Now, just go deeper and deeper and enjoy this pleasant, relaxed feeling. And just picture in your mind now a quarter of a slice of bread because you always leave a portion of food about this size, about the size of a quarter of a slice of bread or larger, whether it be bread, meat, vegetables, potatoes or some other food, because you have a strong desire to leave a quantity of food on your plate, equal to the size of the slice of bread. Because you only eat when you are physiologically hungry and your body needs food. That is why you enjoy the taste of food more than you have enjoyed it for years. And your inner mind knows the difference between real hunger and a fool's appetite. You've heard of fool's gold when inexperienced prospectors used to find and collect it and then traveling many weary miles back to civilization hoping to sell it and make their fortune only to be disappointed and frustrated fool's appetite is a little like fool's gold when you mistake it for real body need you are always frustrated and disappointed as a result of eating. Boredom is not hunger. Worry is not hunger. Disappointment is not hunger. And frustration is not hunger. These feelings are fool's appetite. And you are certainly not a fool. You are born to be a unique, one-of-a-kind individual. And you are what you were created to be a beautiful, perfect human being. And now you have a new powerful method of dealing with stress factors in your life. Because if at any time something displeases or bores you, or if you feel fool's appetite, you rely upon your new habit of taking a long deep breath and as you let go and let it out and relax all over saying these words to yourself calm and relax you just feel wonderful calm and relax and you open your eyes feeling good and you know that fool's appetite cannot be satisfied with food because it's not real being deceived by fool's appetite only punishes your body and heeding real hunger is natural and satisfying because you understand this, you only eat when you are physiologically hungry, only when your body needs food and your body is showing it. And as you go back to your beautiful mirror in your secret room now and look at your beautiful body. The real you you love the way you look and you find yourself merging with this image more and more each and every day because you are becoming this image you are much more confident now everyone is beginning to notice how good you look and you find yourself smiling more and more because you are feeling so good about yourself 
and you feel so happy that you are in complete charge of your mind, body and your spirit. And as you relax even more and more, going deeper and deeper while you allow all these true and beneficial ideas and concepts to make a deep and lasting impression upon your mind, never to be removed. And when you are ready, just bring all the energy back into your body and bringing yourself back to full awareness back to the here and now, in your own way, in your own time, easily, feeling calm and relaxed.